Well, it's uh, another year, another STWWW. My uh, collection continues to grow. Uh, got some more engines since last year. Some more shelves, uh, especially over here in the uh, in the stationary section. But we'll come back to those. In a minute. I think we'll start off with the boats this year. Uh, so first of all we have a nice collection of pop-up boats including the infamous Amberpa uh, and then we have <coughs> a couple of uh, the main pair of boats is the uh, Theron's here, Theron's uh, cabin cruiser, and then there's the uh, Midwest Vantal. And then uh, next on the mobile section, we've got the uh, Mamad SW, uh, yes, SW1 there, converted to uh, ready control, and then we have the, the award winning. Ray, my creation that won the uh, Best Toy Award at this year's SDL, Steam Toy Links. And then down here we have an early Mamad T1, Willasco Old Smokey, and very early Mamad SR1. And then there's the uh, Kenneth Wells traction engine. And then there's that little thing there, which is made by a Japanese company called Garken. I don't know what they call it. Uh, three wheeler, tricycle, I don't know. I've never been able to get it to work anyway, whatever it's called. Uh, then have another of my creations, the uh, Sherabang, and then Mamad SA1, overlooked by this motley crew of gentlemen and animals here. And Next along we have some railway locos. There's the uh, Hornby Stephenson's rocket there, and uh, another of my creations, the uh, Aveline and Porter look-alike. And then next shelf down we have Hornby two, three, four. And the uh, Jubilee uh, edition of the Mamad Loco the SL6. And then up here we have Maxwell Hemmings Birmingham Dribbler and a David Old Roller. And the last of my mobile creations is the early early car, dog cart style there. Uh, uh, next to my uh, Fred Dibner um, tribute cupboard, cap, cabinet, whatever you call it, which is actually the bottom half of a large clock. And overlooked by Great Uncle Lolly, we have my collection of miniatures with uh, the Bittleston loco on the uh, Bittleston engine on the left there, next to uh, the collection of. Uh, peak engines 
is the nano micro minor major number one, number two and number three and then there's the Olesco D2 in the middle there and then there's the full house, almost full house of Philcraft engines there's the Lily put at the back there and the Jenny Wren you can just see behind the the dome there is the marine engine and then we have the under the dome is a beam engine without boiler and then there's the full version with the boiler there and then at the end there's the SEL uh, launch engine. Okay as promised there's uh, on the extra shelves of the stationary section. Uh, first of all there's the Whistler Elasco D16 and then there's a rather large uh, Bing, I can't remember the model number and then the uh, Suffolk Steam New Common Engine, which I've never actually got to work. And uh, next shelf down, we have the little Aid stationery. Next to the other Swedish engine, the John Ericsson. Can't remember the name of the company who made it, but everybody knows it as the John Ericsson. And then there's the uh, Pump and Brow. Great and Pump and Brow, is it? Something like that. D1.5, East German engine. Next shelf down again, we have some American engines. There's uh, Sweden, I've uh, forgotten the model number, 900 and something. There's Jensen 70. Empire B31. And the Robert Fulton vertical, made by Marvin Industries. But I'm sure for this uh, particular rack, there's a Whedon 14, a little red engine there, which unfortunately has a hole in the boiler, and it's a steel boiler, so uh, that's not really running order. The uh, the index there is. That's not in running order either. The the electrical element is actually missing. It's not just open circuit, it's actually missing. But I do have, uh, I've just recently acquired in the last few days, another index, identical but supposedly in running order. I haven't actually tried it yet. So I'll be taking the best parts of the two, putting them together. Now on to the... Uh the wall shelves of stationary engines. First of all there we have a couple of CK engines. There's a V-twin and I think that's a number one isn't it? Something like that. Then we have Wilson Brothers vertical. Uh, there's a Fleischmann 10 something. There's a Let's go D5. Next shelf down we have a complete set of SELs. There's a minor, junior, standard and a major and there's the uh, um, the launch engine we've already looked at in it, over in the miniatures. Uh, it's the Willesco marine engine, the D52, which I've mounted onto a wooden base just because it's more convenient it's actually in two halves okay uh, here we have Bernac Vulcan and uh, that one there is uh, an unknown make but probably homemade but it's a very nice engine anyway uh, here we have a Latimer L4 
to Mersey 51 and Willesco D3. Next shelf is uh, in there is a, is a smaller Bing vertical. And then we have the two Weller school built engines, C Aubrey Manor Mark IV and the Court Lodge Mark I. And then here we have a, a Luton Bowman PW201, I think, is it? And then there's the uh, MF Twin copy of the original Mamod MM2, Mamod Minor 2, twin cylinder version. And then there's a genuine Mamod MM2, but the single, vi single cylinder version next to a Mamod Minor 1. And then Tucked away in the corner there is a nice Kleinemeyer uh, engine house. And down here we have Steamco, uh, I've forgotten the number, very nice engine anyway. And then first of the Sildon engines, the 13 stroke one at the back there with a stroke 3 in front of it is a stroke 5 we also have a 2 and a 4 on another shelf there's another Kleinemeyer engine Meccano uh, style and down here on this shelf we have the other Kenneth Wells the stationary there's the three Mamard marine engines ME1, 2 and 3. 3 of course uses the SEL engine unit. And then here are the other two Sildons. 13 stroke 4 and 13 stroke 2. And at the end there we have uh, the Mamad made Mech, Meccano Mech 1 and the its derivative the uh, SP3. Bottom shelf here we have Bowman M101 uh, and there's the, the Opitec kit built engine there. Behind that is another Bowman M175 and then there's a the, uh, twin cylinder Bowman M122. On the final rack of stationaries we have a full set of uh, pre-war Mamad engines SC4, SC3, SC2 and the SC1. Uh, strictly speaking the SC1 is not a pre-war, it's immediately post-war but it's virtually identical. And then on the next shelf we have these are all Mamad SE2s, various stages in their development. I can't remember the years. But they're all SE2 apart from the last one, which is an SE2A, of course. And then we have SP4, which is probably the modern equivalent of the SE2. And then we have more modern twin cylinder SE3 and uh, similar era SE1 and down here we have my modified stationaries as the uh, three cylinder man out there which I call the SE3C then we have the sectioned SE3 and sectioned engine unit from a Willesco D16. And of course over here on the uh, coffee table which I've moved out of the way to get at the stationary shelves we have some non-steam engines. 
a bone Stirling engine there. It's a thermoacoustic engine, low temperature Stirling, and there's the uh, little nodding drinking bird there.